In this video, we're going to take a look at a 10 inch touchscreen Android monitor. What's up, people? Got this 10 inch monitor that I just installed in the Dodge Ram. Wanted to share with you guys. Picked this up off of eBay for $55. Thought it was a pretty good deal. Been using it for the last couple weeks. Figure it's time to do a video. So what I'll do is I'll show you some of the inputs and outputs, and then we'll go through some of the features. A look at everything out of the box. There's your monitor. Got the brackets at the top. GPS, USB, and all your power cords. Got your inputs for cameras. Everything's labeled, make it easier for a hookup. There's USB, use it for your thumb drive or for your phone. Closer look at the GPS. Couple brackets and four screws to mount it. Here's a look at the back of the radio. There's where your power input goes. There's a 10 amp fuse. Rest of your inputs, you got your radio antenna there, GPS. There's the holes for mounting the brackets on the side. Pretty simple. The other side for mounting the brackets. Pretty low profile radio. Not going to take up a lot of room. All right guys, so first thing I want to show you is it's a pretty big monitor. There's my hand, as you guys can see. It's a pretty large screen. Up here, you got your power button, your home button, your back button, volume up, volume down. Your mic's up there and there's a reset button. Get a closer look at those. Turn the key forward so you guys can see the display. It does have a logo that you can pick from. This one's got an Android logo that I chose. It's got a short boot up and a long boot up. The short boot up just goes right to the radio or whatever it was that you're using last. The long boot up has the animation and the logo that you want to choose in the settings. As you can see there, that's the home screen. That's going to go right to the radio. When your kid has a restless night. Mom, I can't sleep. Go ahead and turn it down. Go back to the home screen. It's got settings, radio, video. It's pretty much like an Android. It's got a drop down there for notifications. This uh, radio is Bluetooth. You guys can see up in the corner, and it is Wi-Fi, so it already hooked up to my Wi-Fi and Bluetooth. Go ahead and go uh, into some of the apps that's preloaded here. There's your Bluetooth, got calculator, calendar, all your settings. It's got built-in navigation, your radio, video, internet. I added the Pandora from the Play Store. It's actually got the manual right here. Gives you the instructions on how to use the radio. There's your phone link. Play Store, like I said earlier. And I downloaded YouTube. So the cool thing about this radio is being able to hook up Bluetooth for phone calls or to stream audio. And then it's also nice it's got built-in apps, so it's going to pull up YouTube. Screen's real responsive. I was really impressed with this uh, radio, especially for $55. Go back home. Here's your Bluetooth. Make phone calls. Back, back out. There's your settings. You can adjust your radio. It's the sound. 
system info got factory settings on this I hit 8888 okay and it got me into the factory settings and that's actually you know you can change the color and all those types of settings got your Android settings GPS detection here which is nice volume settings brightness navigation got maps on there you can learn your steering wheel functions here's where your logo go ahead and can find a logo that you want for the startup screen and there's some other settings here pretty nice right here it's your file manager for internal storage got uh, 12 gigabytes didn't really put anything on here yet except for Pandora and YouTube so I'm still at 11.74 gigabytes got your Pandora here my Bluetooth is hooked up, so it should uh, boot up Pandora for us. And the boot up time isn't too bad. The connection's uh, pretty decent. Especially, like I said, we're talking about a $55 radio here. So, like I said, I'm pretty surprised that you're getting all these, this uh, put into a $55 radio that, with a 10-inch monitor. Here's YouTube. I'm booting up here. loading up here not too bad back back out here's where uh, you got your multiple windows open you can swipe those or close all which is nice here's your Bluetooth icon your Wi-Fi icon your time here's your maps Like I said, it does have a built-in GPS, so everything just loads up. You don't have to have your phone actually hooked up for that. Here's the Play Store, so you can download more apps. It also has a phone link, which I have down here. So you can actually hook up a data cable to your phone and transfer media via that. You can hook up a back backup camera to this. So it's actually pretty nice. Screen's pretty big, so as you guys can see, you get a little bit of a glare from it, but it's not bad. At night, it's perfect. Here, it's got the kilometers. I can change that to miles per hour. It actually shows your speed through the GPS. And then uh, if you turn your lights on, if you look at this car icon here, it's kind of cool. It shows the lights turn on. For the car icon not sure why you would really need it and then on the side here you can actually see the function buttons light up this is for anything that might be on your phone any music media go ahead and back out of that here's for your bluetooth for phone calls your radio this is a video list whether you have, say, a thumb drive hooked up through the USB or through your phone. So pretty nice radio. Like I said, I've been using it for the last two weeks here, and I like it a lot. Especially spending only 55 bucks through eBay. It did come from China, so it might take a little while to get it. But all in all, it was a great buy. Haven't had any issues with it. Google Chrome, all this stuff. As long as you got a hotspot hooked up through your phone, all this stuff will work. I got unlimited through Verizon, so I use a hotspot on my phone to hook up to my radio. And I can just uh, stream any Pandora, YouTube, Spotify if you want. You can go on the internet. And it's going to notify you of anything that's going on up here. 
here's actually what's playing on Pandora. You can see all my notifications right here. Clean those out. The audio quality is nice too. No complaints there. I just got these hooked up through door speakers and the internal amplifier. Go ahead and play some YouTube here. Go to some no copyright. Sounds. Load something up here. Just play the first thing that comes up. Got a burning desire to buy a massive new 4K TV. The good news is you've come to Best Buy. You've got a great assortment of. guys so it's a quick video on this uh, 10 inch monitor what I'll do is I go ahead and put a link to the description on eBay where you can find this set if you guys are interested click on that link and go to eBay to purchase this if you guys found this video useful hit that like button if you guys like what I'm doing on my channel go ahead and hit that subscription button and don't forget to hit that notification bell so you guys get notified when I upload my next video. Thanks for watching, and I'll talk to you guys later.